February is Black History Month, and this week, state champ salutes Herman Boone. If the name doesn't ring a bell, maybe this will. The story of his struggle and triumph coaching a newly integrated football team in 1971 Virginia inspired one of the greatest sports movies of all time, Remember the Titans. A city where high school football was everything to the people of Alexandria, Academy Award-winning actor Denzel Washington portrayed Herman Boone, who was chosen to lead a team forced to integrate when the local school board chose to combine an all-black school with an all-white school. With the very football foundation and soul of the city at stake, Coach Boone and the former Whitehead coach Bill Yost taught the young men to come together and overcome their differences. Improbable and against all odds, the team won the state championship that year. A big social justice supporter long before he became the head coach at T.C. Williams High School, Herman marched with Martin Luther King in North Carolina. He was also a very successful football coach both before and after that magical year of 1971. One of his three daughters, Monica Merritt, is the superintendent of schools in the fifth largest district in Michigan, Plymouth Canton. Having her father's story as part of a Disney film was surreal for the entire family. They invited him on the set and he's down on the ground, he's coaching, and they had to remind him a couple of times these are actors, coach! <laughs> because he's like, no, get that right. Perfection is always his benchmark. And for him, it didn't matter if they were making a movie, but he wanted to make sure that's just who he is. Football really wasn't about winning the championship, but it was winning with a team and building young men. And the byproduct happened to be that championship, so. If we don't come together right now on this hollow ground, we too will be destroyed. Just like they were. I don't care if you like each other or not, but you will respect each other. I think the biggest lesson that he taught to us as his daughters was really about being humble and that we're no better than anyone else. And it was always about whenever you make it, he would say, make this saying, don't forget, if you go across the finish line, don't forget to take a care of the horse that took you there. And so it was always important for him that you give back. He would say to us, if you didn't wake up this morning planning to make a difference in somebody's life, then carry your butt back to bed. <laughs> that was, oh, wow. that's just how he approached life. And people are still uh, watching and talking about the movie and talking about the impact. I go into the store and somebody walks up to me and said, hey, aren't you uh, the, the daughter of Coach Food and you're superintendent of Plymouth Canton? Yes, let me tell you about how this movie has impacted me, people that have never met him. And so it really continues to live on. In December of 2019, Herman Boone passed away at the age of 84. If you've never seen Remember the Titans, watch it. You'll never forget it. State Champs salutes Herman Boone.